Greetings, Earthling. Do you remember me? I am Quince. We met once before when you first came aboard the ship. Well, I was the one who selected you from many specimens. It is very nice to meet your acquaintance once more. I have not been able to stop thinking about your very large ears for a long time. I am utterly fascinated by your human auditory system. I am here today to perform my first ever in-depth ear exam. Since our last encounter, you inspired me to research the human race in much more depth. You are a most fascinating species and I have been busy with these studies for a long time. I trust that Cal and Kel have been looking after you. Oh yes, I have heard about your many encounters together. And might I say that your hair is looking quite lovely. Cal is a very good hairstylist indeed. And isn't her sister Kel such a chatterbox? Oh, I forgot. Yes, she is very shy about speaking in your language, but telepathically she does not shut up. But she has a very pleasant voice, so it is acceptable. So I will put on my gloves once more, just to be safe. While I inspect your auditory apparatus, you like the colour? Thank you. As do I. If I may lean in closer as I marvel at the intricacies of these wonderful large ears. Thank you. I think that they may have even grown a little more since our last encounter.
Causing discomfort, but these my hands are my specially designed audiologist appendages. The kind doctor informed me that. My hands and fingers are perfectly calibrated for your earth ears. I did not tell you, Earthling, since our last extraordinary encounter I have been studying with a human doctor, Dr. Hugh. I am most excited about our findings together. Usually the good doctor would be able to treat you for your discomfort by massaging your ears in a specific way and running different tests. But Dr. Hugh is away currently. However, do not fear. You will meet them very soon and they are just as excited to meet you too. For today I can perform the ear massage and tests if you would allow me to. The good doctor has taught me how to do this in our last session and I am very excited to try it out. All I have learned. Would you allow me to do this today? Wonderful. I am delighted that you would like me to. I will prepare my tools. We will begin by 
massaging the parts of your ears that are tender to help relax you and promote better circulation. I am sure that this will also help a lot between your cryogenic sleep to properly get the blood flowing once more. Here I have the Auric Touch Enhancer Gloves. These special gloves enhance my touch with bioelectric fields. And as I massage your ears, these gloves create a gentle tingling sensation promoting relaxation. I hope and a sense of well-being. Okay, so I will move a little closer to you while I massage your ears. I will start with tapping very softly. How is that pressure? Earthling. Very good.
very happy that it has helped you. I must also express my eagerness to explore the inner workings of human ears further. I desire to learn more about how they are functioning, how they transmit the sound and contribute to the extraordinary experience of human hearing. Would you allow me to run a few small tests today? Thank you very much, Erling. I am sure that you will also find it most enjoyable. We will use the sonic resonance bubbles. This device is brimming with translucent bubbles filled with harmonious sonic When I gently apply them to your ears, the bubbles emit a calming symphony of soothing sounds that resonate in your ear canals, providing a small, relaxing massage of sorts. And I will, at the same time, be observing the way the sound waves interact with your eardrums. to assess the workings, the mobility, and how they dance to the rhythm of the sound. Are you ready? Fascinating. 
Did you enjoy that? Good. Next, I have a surprise for you. It is my friend. Your friend. Read it. They have also been studying since you last met them. They have been practicing the art of energy flow. They would like to show you what they have learned and also help us with our test today. As they levitate They will create a soothing flow of energy. The light they reflect will shape the aura around your ears, promoting a sense of balance and calm. as well as a soothing scent. For this test, I would like for you, if you are comfortable, to close your eyes. And we can test if you can detect on which side of your head seated is floating. Would this be okay? Very good. Let us try. Are you ready, little one?
they have told me how much they have missed you, Earthling. They were very excited to help out today with the tests. I am very pleased you enjoyed it. And I know that Zedit will also be very happy to hear it. So for the last test today, we will simply observe and clean your ears, if that is all right. Very well. There is something truly remarkable and perplexing about your auditory system that is unique to your species. It is the phenomenon of earwax. Yes, you heard correctly. While it can be useful serving as a natural protective barrier against foreign particles, Sometimes it can become lodged and create problems. So I would like very much today to make sure that yours are not in this situation. As you have been in cryogenic sleep for a while and you have not had your ears cleaned. I am glad that you agree. I can very gently dislodge any parts that you will not need today. And I will wear my special enhancing spectacles so I am able to see in extreme detail. I will use this tool to dislodge anything that you do not need in your ears.
and your very large, very hairy ears are very clean. Oh. Do not be embarrassed. I think they are beautiful. I think that concludes our tests today. I must say that learning about your species auditory system has been an exhilarating experience. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me today to run those tests and inspect your ears in such depth. I have a gift for you, Earthling. Would you like it now? It is a Thank you for allowing me to examine your ears today. Are you ready? Here. Yeah. Yes. It is a spoon. I travelled all the way to Earth to find this one for you. It is a small spoon, so it will not hold lots of nourishments, lots of foods, but you can savour this way. Yes, a spoon. We both found it so amusing last time. I remember how it made you smile also. And so I thought that maybe spoon is one of your favourite things. And I wanted to get something for you that you would really enjoy. And I heard from Cal that humans really, really, really like cats. So, a cat spoon, it had to be. I hope that you like it. I also wished to see that smile again. And I can confirm that I got my wish. I am very happy that you enjoyed both mine and Zedit's company today. Perhaps next time we meet, it will be with the good doctor. Thank you once again. Enjoy your spoon earthling. Until next time. Sweet dreams. <laughs>